So we looked in a series of H, uh, individuals with HPV-related oral pharyngeal cancer and their spouses. We measured AP, HPV DNA in oral and sample from these spouses and found the spouses were not, uh, did not have elevated levels of oral HPV infection. Their prevalence of oral HPV infection was similar to that in the general population. This is very reassuring for spouses of our patients with HPV-related oral pharyngeal cancer that their risk of HPV-related cancer remains low. What does this study tell you about the transmission of HPV-16 or of uh, other uh, common types such as HPV-33? Well, we have cross-sectional data which strongly supports the sexual transmission of oral HPV infection to the mouth and transmission by oral sex. We saw in our study that several of the partners did have a history of cervical cancer or precancer, which supports this transmission from an infected genital area to the oral region when performing oral sex. And the association between HPV-16 and oral cancer, cancers is well known. Absolutely. HPV-16 is responsible for 90% of all the HPV-related oral pharyngeal cancers.